Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a sprite bounce off another sprite and I'm going to do it using the game Brick Breaker, old game, so it plays like this. So basically the paddle and the ball are bouncing off each other, although technically the brick and the ball as well. So it's going to be underneath the balls code that we're definitely going to do that. So I'm going to start from the beginning, so it's simple. So basically I need those, the ball a paddle and I use this as a brick but it doesn't really matter what you use also doesn't matter what you use for a paddle a ball is just write some code so I'm gonna start off on the ball smaller so clearly we have to grab the one green flag clicked and I'm starting it off in the center which is zero zero because it's gonna be like low enough like where the bricks all come out it's pretty good so then I'm going to point in direction so if you didn't know you can other than actually doing that you can actually type in a number so I do 135 see how it's kind of low so that way it doesn't like go up and hit the bricks automatically it's gonna come down at that angle so now we I do a little pause, just like wait like 0 0.5 honestly, like half a second. And then we have to tell it what it's going to do, like the whole game. So clearly we are going to use this block, which if you noticed, there's an if on edge bounce. But that doesn't work if you want it to bounce off another, like not the edge clearly. So that's the point this video is. So then we just want to make sure that if it actually, when it bounces, this is the code that's going to matter. So when it touches the paddle, that's when we're going to have to, uh, I'm going to do it through a broadcast. So broadcast bounce, B-O-U-N-C-E, bounce. So zoom out a little bit, put your heads over there. So when I receive bounce, that is the important part so we're going to say point in direction and i'm going to put a minus sign inside and i'm going to say 180 minus the current direction and you can do that by grabbing this right here then afterwards we have to make sure that it's going to keep going until it's not touching the paddle anymore so we need to repeat until uh, there we go repeat until not touching the paddle and what we want to do is just grab move 10 or whatever speed you want, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is brick breaker, this is my brick breaker. Alright, so now that we have that all set up, we just need to go into the paddle. So clearly when green flag clicked again, very famous. So I'm setting a rotation style just so it just will always look that way, will not rotate. Haven't touched this in a while. Okay, so set rotate style. Do not rotate. Then clearly it needs a different starting position. And zero. And you need starting positions since they're going to be moving during the game. They need to go back to their original spots. Every green flag clicked. Now the whole game we have to tell it what to do as well. So I'm going to say since we control with the mouse. If you did, if you do like arrows or whatever, you can do that. But here I'm using the mouse. So point towards mouse pointer, move 20 steps, and then I'm going to finish it off with a set Y to negative 120. Yes, perfect. Okay, so last but not least, the bricks. So green flag clicked, and then we have to hide because I don't want to see the original I'm creating a bunch of clones right because it could be like a bunch of these guys so then uh if you do like score or whatever you do your variables which I don't find that important right now because this was meant for the bouncing code which is right here so the point of this is like basically here if you want to pause and look at that but over here we're gonna I set the size to 50 already but you can also do that with a block so then I'm going to tell it to go to negative 200. 
and 140. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm going to do this in a nested loop, which is a loop inside of a loop. So I'm going to grab two repeats. Now this one is going to be how many uh, columns, and that's going to be how many like rows or whatever. So if you look at it, see how it's one, two, three, four, and then there's seven across. So, you know, so four rows, seven in each row. So if you change those numbers, then you have more rows or more columns, vice versa. So now to make it exist, we want to say create clone of myself. So it's actually there. Now, so they don't create on the same spot. See how they're all, there's some space in between them. That's because I did change X by a certain amount. So they're not on top of each other. If you change X, you move over. So I thought 65 was pretty good based on my sprite and my sprite size and the position of the top that I placed. So now I'm going to do set X, change Y. So negative 30 and negative 200 is what I want because you see this is negative 200. This number and this number need to be the exact same because otherwise it won't be aligned all the way here so that's very very important now we won't be able to see it because I hit it so in order to make it show since we created clones we need to see those clones so we need to do when I start as a clone so oh, I'm in the wrong area okay when I start as a clone we need to show otherwise you'll never ever see it because we hit it but you need to hide it so you don't see the original plus all of your clones so it's, it's required basically now, my forever loop, so it knows what to do during the game. You're basically going to say, if touching the ball, then we will go away. we we'll delete or whatever. And that's pretty simple. So, here's the end. If touching ball, we want to broadcast bounce, because that... Perfect, right here. Because the ball is the only thing that's kind of bouncing in this current game. So whatever sprite you're trying to do in your own game, it's basically the ball. So you would be looking at the ball's code here. Oh. This magic. All right, so then last but not least, delete this clone. So... I did this without a score, even though I did one here. Did it without a game over and a game because it's not really important right now. But those are things that you could easily add without any help. So to prove that it works, here we go. Ta-da! All right. So if you guys have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, or even video suggestions for the future, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.